So let's get started with part number two in how to create a login application with member area with React Native. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the profile.js component we created in the last tutorial. And we're going to rename it from login to profile. Save it. Go back to app.js component. And we're going to add a profile to uh, the navigator. Give it a screen, and the screen is going to be profile, which is this component. <clears throat> Let's reload the emulator and check that everything works all right. Yeah, everything seems to be working. Now we're going to create a new uh, database, and if you're not familiar with MySQL or uh, PHP MyAdmin, you should check out a uh, tutorial for it, some other tutorial because <coughs> we're going to use a MySQL database. So go ahead and create a new database. I'm going to name it Users and give it a collation of UTF General CA. Give it a table named User. Give it three columns. <coughs> we can create the uh, ID an integer with a index of primary and uh, let's make it auto increment I'm gonna create a username and uh, a password field and both of these are gonna be Varshar 215 length and that's it we can save the table there we go. Now we're just going to add some uh, user to the tables. So we can try to log in later. Let's name him John. His password can be passed. And also I'm not going to go into encryption of the password. This tutorial is not covering the encryption. So you can do that. Uh, check it out for yourself. If you want to encrypt the password, in this tutorial we're just going to store it as plain text as a string. Now the next part is we're going to install Node and Express as our backend endpoint. So open up a new node.js command prompt. And if you haven't installed Express yet, you have to do that. And after you have installed uh, Express, you also need the uh, Express generator. You can install it by typing npm install Express generator and install it globally. <coughs> After you have done that, we can create a new Express project by typing Express and then the name of the project. Let's name this Login Backend. After that, cd into the project we just created, Login Backend. <coughs> and uh, run npm install to install the dependencies and we're also going to need to install mysql so type my npm and install mysql and save And if you haven't installed Nodemon yet, go ahead and do that. It's a good tool because you, it, uh, it restarts the server automatically every time you make a change in the code. So I'm going to start it up right now. That's how I start the server. If you don't have a Nodemon, you have to restart it manually. I don't know if you pronounce it no daemon or Nodemon, but you should get it and then uh, start the server. There we go, the Express Node server has started. Let's check it out at port 3000. See if we got any results. Yeah, it's working. This is how the default uh, Express skeleton looked like. So now go ahead and uh, open up the project we just created in a text editor.
and open up app.js. And we're gonna require MySQL, so type the uh, variable in MySQL, require MySQL. And uh, we're gonna use this router, which uh, is installed by default in the Express skeleton. So go ahead and uh, go to your routes and open up uh, users.js. We're gonna have to uh, require MySQL here too. And we're gonna change this uh, router.get to router.post. Remove this comment. Now we're gonna create a new MySQL connection. So create a variable named connection and create a connection with mysql.create connection I'm gonna need a host which is gonna be localhost a user and this is the router uh, user to your database a password for your user and the database name which we name to users. Now we can try to check if we can uh, actually uh, get some results from the, from the application to the node server. So we can go ahead and uh, send back something like this. Uh, let's send back just uh, a message testing to get data from backend. <clears throat> then open up the login.js component in the React Native project and uh, scroll down to the response part. And here we can try to just uh, alert the message so type alert result of message reload emulator and let's check now what happens if we press we should be getting some alert yes yeah now we're getting the data we just defined right there and also we can try to uh, See if we can get the data from uh, get the data from the text input to the backend and then send it back to the application. Let's try that. So we're gonna as the message we're gonna just use uh, uh, request body dot username. Let's see what happens now. Now we should alert the testing. Yeah, and it seems to be working all right. Now, one thing you notice about the password too that we're gonna fix is uh, it's visible. So we're gonna go ahead and open up uh, the login.js component. I'm gonna jump up here, go to the return function. And we're gonna add uh, a secure text for the, for the password text input. <clears throat> so just type uh, secure text entry. Equals to true. Let's try it out now. No, what's the name for it? Let's check.
Oh, I had it on the username, sorry. It's supposed to be on the password, of course. Let's try now. Reload. Yeah, now you can see it's uh, password is hidden. <clears throat> now you can go down to the response part again. You can delete this alert result of message. Now we're gonna open up app.js in the Express uh, project, and we're gonna create a MySQL query to check for the user with the username and password that is submitted. So we're gonna start by getting the username request .body .username. Then we're also gonna get the password. Then we're gonna create a MySQL query with the connection.query. <clears throat> so we're gonna type select all from uh, user, which is the table we created earlier, where username is equal to question mark and password is equal to question mark. And I'm using question mark to because I'm using prepare statements to prevent SQL injection and stuff like that. So we're gonna add the username and password here. So this basically means uh, select all from user where username is equal with username and password is equal with password. Now we're gonna check if there's an error. If there's an error with the database connection, we can uh, console the log it so we can check the error for ourselves. We can also send back an uh, error message to the user. So let's set uh, success to false. Let's add a message. Could not connect the database. And then we're gonna add if uh, there's a result, if the length, row.length is, is bigger than zero. This means that uh, a result has been found. Then we're gonna send uh, success is true, and we can send uh, back the username too. Like this, this will get the username from the query if there is a user. And if there's no result, we can uh, send back yes, the success is false. And message, user not found. And that should be it. Let's reload the emulator and try it out. Let's just try test, test. User not found, which is correct. We only have one user and it's named John and the password is, let's try with something wrong first. Just something random. 
is not found and let's try with the correct password which is pass and yeah we are directed to the member area so um, everything seems to be working and that's it now if we reload the emulator We don't have to log in again, we're going to be automatically directed to the member area since we're already logged in. So we, we don't see the login screen no more. And that's it. Now we got a fully functional login app with our member area. Hope you learned something. Bye bye.